mama aku mesti pergi biar room Mati nombor 2C, 2, 5, 8, 8 Okay, today we will try to answer the question Okay, first, let's try to read this question first First, suppose the media report that the average of family living in Kota Baru is at least around 5,000 A random sample of 100 families selected from Kota Baru produce a mean of RM 4,800 with a standard deviation of RM 1,000 Using the 2.5% uh, percent significant level, can you conclude that the media plan is false? Okay, first we need to highlight the keyword in the question We need to highlight average and uh, at least at least 5,000 and then next is a random sample selected from 100 family and produce a mean 4,800 4, and standard version is 1,000 and the significant level is 2.5% Okay, step one is, is we need to write hypothesis now equal to mean at least RM5000 and hypothesis alternatives is mean less than RM5000. Okay, step 2 is we need to write uh, 2.5% significant level. level or we can write it in 0 0.025. Okay, step 2 is we need to compute the Z. Okay, we know is mean is 4800 minus M is 5000 and standard division is 1000 divided by square N, N is 100. Okay. So the answer is negative 2.0. Okay, next step is we need to write the sign of uh, below in the indicated. that the test is left the area in the left there equal to a 0.025 so we know the critical value is Z mm, 0.025 equal to 1.96 we can we can search the value and we can find from table two. Okay, next step five is we know the value of z is negative two point zero from step 3 
So we can conclude it is it is shop then the critical value and it falls in the rejection region so we reject it reject hash now okay that is from the graph we can see 2.0 is here negative 2.0 is here and it fall in rejection area okay step part is we can interpretation it at the 2.5 percent significant level the data provide some sufficient evidence to conclude that the mean of family living in Kota Bahu at this RM 5000 so that's all for me thank you a very good day to everyone my name is Kekating with metric number 271613 today I'm going to discuss a case study is about the hypothesis testing example which is for the Z taste okay from the question a principal at a certain school claims that the students in his school are above average intelligence a random set sample of 30 students' IQ scores have a main score of 112. Using the 5% significant level, is that sufficient evidence to support the principal claim? The main population IQ is 100 with a standard deviation of 15. IQ scores are normally distributed. Okay, so for the questions, uh, they, he wants us to find that is there sufficient evidence to support the principal claims which is at the significant level of 5%? Okay, so for the first step, we need to determine the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. So for the question, the null hypothesis is the mean population IQ which is the 100 and for the alternative, the one is above the average intelligence. So we need to write like this. For the null hypothesis, which is equal to the mean population is equal to 100. For the alternative hypothesis, we need to find that it's above average intelligence. So the symbol is bigger than 100. Okay. So the second step is we need to find the significant level. So from the question, we can see that the significant level they want us to find is at the 5%. So our alpha is equal to 0 0.05. Okay, after we have these numbers, we can draw the graph. Oh, sorry. Okay, so for the graph, the middle one is 
100. So the 5% is dropped at the right tail of this graph. So we highlight this graph. And here is equal to 5%. Okay. So the answer here is equal to 65%. So we need to find the Z score. So from the uh, we need to refer to the table and to find the Z score. So from here to here, from here to here is equal to 45%. So when we read the Z score, we can find the Z score is equal to 1.645. Alright. Okay, so this means that when if letter we count the um we count for the number if the Z score is bigger than is drop at this area, it means that this is the rejection area. Okay, I write this. This is the rejection region. It means that if the number is fall in this blue and blue regions, we can reject the null hypothesis. Okay, so let's just calculate the value for the test statistic. Okay, we can use the formula z equal to mean of the sample minus mean of the populations divided by standard deviation of the over square root n. Okay, so refer to the questions. We need to find the mean score. Okay, from here we can see that the mean score is 112. Okay, so this is our mean score. So we straight away the left, right? Mean score is 112. So minus mean population. Just now we have found that mean population is 100. So minus 100. Over standard deviation. Okay, let's find in the question. Did he give us standard deviations? Yes, the standard deviation is 15. So 15 is our standard deviation. So we just write right here 15 divided by square root n is the number of sample okay so refer to the question he gives us that a random sample of 30 students so our n is equal to 30 okay so now we need to use the calculator to find this answer so the answer is 4.3818 Okay, so the Z we find here is 4.3818 So we refer to here, the Z score is 1.645 So, uh, uh, 4.3818 is bigger than 1.645 so it's fell in this rejection region. So we can conclude that uh, we need to reject reject the null hypothesis, which is this. Okay, so we can conclude that because he asked, is there sufficient evidence to support the principal claims? Yes. Yes, we have the sufficient evidence to support the principal claim since that the death goal that we find is bigger than 1.645 so it's fall in the uh, rejections region so we assess that yes the the student in his school are above average intelligence
So it's the ways to find our answer. Thank you all for listening. Thank you. I am Lee Xunyang with the matrix number 272033. Today, I am going to explain a case study question. From this question, we need to find the p-value and get the conclusion. I have listed all the steps to get the answer. Step 1. State now an alternative hypothesis. From the question, we can state that now hypothesis is mean population equals to 1.2 and for alternative hypothesis is mean population not equals to 1.2. Step 2. Decide on significance level. It is given as it is equal to 0 0.01. Step 3. Compute value of test static. We can use the equation z equals to mean sample minus mean population divided by standard deviation over square root of n. Sample mean 1.05 minus mean population 1.2 divided by standard deviation 0 0.5 over square root of n 100 we will get the answer minus 3 step 4 determine the p value from step 3 we get the value of z equal to negative 3 From table 2, we can know that this area is equal to 0 0.0013. This is the area for left tail test. And for this case, the p-value is equal to the sum of two areas, which are the two tail tests. So it is equal to 0 0.0013 times 2. Equals to 0 0.0026. This is the p-value. Step 5. Decide whether to reject the null hypothesis. P-value equals to 0 0.0026. And significance level equals to 0 0.01. is smaller than the significance level so reject the no hypothesis step 6 interpret the result at we can know that at the significance level 0 0.01 the data given is insufficient to conclude that the mean population equals to 1.2 hence the conclusion is the drug has effect on the response time. The null hypothesis should be rejected. That's all for this question. Thank you. For the step 1, the assertion for which every date must be provided is that the average online price U is less than the average price in retail store. So, the hypothesis S is Okay, next, for the step 2, the sample is small and the population standard deviation is unknown. Thus, the test statistic is
MF is student T distribution which M minus 1 equal to 5 minus 1 equal to 4 degrees of freedom. Okay, next for the step 3 from the data, we compute that x equal to 169 and s 10.39. Insert this value into the formula for the test statistic g. Then, for the step 4, since the symbol in HA is uh, left teletest, so there is a single critical value. Minus. equal to minus TA 0 0.05 TF equal to 4 so reading from the row label TF equal to 4 TF equal to 4 the value is minus 2.132 the rejection region is minus infinity comma minus 2.132 For the last step is step 5. The test statistic falls in the rejection region. The decision is to reject H0. In the context of the problem, our conclusion is the data provides sufficient evidence at the 5% level of significance to conclude that the average price of such packet purchased at online auction is less than $1,179 So this is my question A random sample of 52 students that we have a mean sodium content of 2 to 5.9 mg with a standard deviation of 10 mg Can the serial maker conclude that the mean sodium content per serving is less than 230 mg at one level of significance? So for the first step is Uh, 
drop a graph so the graph looks like this this is P this is negative 0 0.1 negative 2 <coughs> DF fifty one. We choose the closet. Okay, we use fifty. Now we're going to test. So we're gonna get negative two point six nine six the division. Whenever we reject, mm, at the one there is, there is enough evidence to support the claim. Thank you.